Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 9th of December, Wednesday of the week of Advent 2, G.K. Chesterton, 1874, 1936, from his autobiography. The church deduces that sin confessed and adequately repented is actually abolished and that the sinner does really begin again as if he never sinned. And this brought me sharply back to those visions or fancies of childhood, the indescribable and indestructible certitude in the soul that those first years of innocence were the beginning of something worthy, perhaps more worthy, than any of the things that actually followed them. I spoke of the strange daylight, which was something more than the light of common day that still seems in my memory to shine on those steep roads down from Campton Hill, from which one could see the Crystal Palace from afar. Well, when a Catholic comes from confession, he does truly, by definition, step out again into that dawn of his own beginning and look with new eyes across the world to a crystal palace that is really of crystal. He believes that in that dim corner and in that brief ritual, God has really remade him in his own image. He is now a new experiment of the Creator. He is as much a new experiment as he was when he was really only five years old. He stands, as I said, in the white light of worthily beginning of the life of a man. The accumulations of time can no longer terrify. He may be gray and gouty, but he is only five minutes old. The prayer, Anselm, 1033, 1109. O Lord, our God, grant us grace to desire thee with our whole heart, that so desiring we may seek and find thee, and so finding thee we may love thee, and loving thee, we may hate those sins from which thou hast redeemed us. For the sake of Jesus Christ, amen.